Hello there, welcome back to another ITH video. Now, regular viewers will know that I love a hot hatch. Well, this is no ordinary hot hatch. This is a very expensive and very silly Renault Megane, the RS Trophy R. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm addicted. Okay, so to start off a little bit of history, uh, the Renault Sport Megane has got three models. There's the RS280, there's the RS Trophy, and this, which is the RS Trophy R. Now, you see, a hot hatchback is normally a family practical hatchback that has been given a little sprinkling of um, sportiness. This is something a little bit different. You see, this is basically an all-out track car that just happens to be based on a hatchback. It's stiff and it's, it's not very practical and it, it's wonderful. Now there are lots of reasons why it's so quick and they also add up to why this thing costs an eye-watering £51,000 for a hatchback. So what we're going to talk about is, before we get to the looks of this thing, is actually why this thing costs so much money and what has gone into it in terms of engineering. So I'm going to talk about the aerodynamics, the handling and the weight saving. Right, aerodynamics. First off, we have got a, a completely reworked underfloor, it makes it a lot flatter and it actually creates downforce via the under tray and there's an extraction fan and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, there are reworked brake cooling ducts in the front as well down there uh, and of course this bonnet helps with this knacker duct at the front here if you don't know what a knacker duct is uh, look it up it's an aerodynamic thing uh, but it helps with all heat management all that kind of stuff as well as the aero on the car now around the back one of the biggest aerodynamic things is actually this delicious carbon fiber diffuser which is 30 percent larger than on the trophy uh, and makes it twice as efficient Handling stuff, very important on a car like this, as this is a track day weapon. So, uh, we've got lighter wheels, coming to those in a bit, uh, but they are wrapped in uh, Bridgestone Potenza S007 tyres. They are designed bespoke for this car and they are unbelievably grippy. Oh, and inside the wheel, we've got some 40 mil bigger brakes as well, and there are carbon ceramic brakes as an option. But tying those to the car, we have got some Olin's uh, dampers, and they are dual rate, they are fully adjustable up to 16 mil drop you can have on these if you're just gonna do a big track day session. Uh, and there are lightweight springs in there as well. I mean, that is all the good stuff right here, and it just makes this thing an absolute weapon on track. Right, weight reduction. Now that's very important on this car because uh, they've done quite a lot. So forgive me for having a spec sheet here because it, there's just too much to remember. Uh, and I'm gonna run through them all very quickly. Carbon composite bonnet saves eight kilograms. These lovely red standard Fuji 19 inch wheels save two kilograms per corner. That's eight kilograms in total. And under there is a lightweight battery that saves seven kilograms. Amazing. They've even used a thinner badge from the adaptive cruise control that this car doesn't have. So this saves weight as well. It's about four grams different, but that's the kind of thing that they do. Carbon diffuser saves two and a half kilograms. Very fruity, a crap of itch, titanium exhaust, saves seven kilograms. They've removed the rear wiper and the motor and all the wiring loom, that saves three kilograms. The rear suspension has been heavily modified and there's no fore control, and that saves 32 kilograms. Fixed bucket seats save seven kilograms per seat. Removal of the rear bench saves 23.5 kilograms. Thinner side glass saves over a kilogram. And finally, the seven inch infotainment screen instead of an 8.7 inch one saves 250 grams. So when you add all that up, it basically means that this weighs 130 kilograms less than the standard trophy, which, I mean, that is a huge amount. And it means that this comes in at a smidge over 1300 kilos. Now looks wise, I mean, I really do think this thing looks hard as nails. All those bits, all the extra little bits, the dropped ride height just makes it look just so like this. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, right, option wise, uh, there isn't an option for the paint. You can only have it in this pearlescent white, which is lovely. And the red wheels are standard, as are the red graphics down the side. Now you can take away the red graphics if you want, it won't cost you anything. Um, but yeah, these red wheels are the only option for this style. You can also option full carbon fiber wheels. Now, 
they save 16 kilograms overall, so they save twice as much weight as these red wheels do. But there's a slight price cost, slight teensy snafu with those. They cost 12,000 pounds. 12,000 pounds. Or the price of a small family hatchback second hand uh, for some carbon fiber wheels. So yeah, they cost a lot of money. And I actually prefer the red wheels. I don't think it's necessary to have carbon fiber wheels unless you're doing pure track days on them. Uh, and with these wheels, you don't soil yourself when you come within two feet of a curb. Perfect. Looking under the bonnet here, uh, first thing you notice, you can see all the lovely bare carbon from this uh, carbon bonnet. Love that. When you open this up, it's just a lovely thing to be able to see and a bit of heat shielding as well. Now down here are the oily bits. Now there is, right down there is a mechanical uh, limited slip differential that really helps with the handling as well. But up here, this is a 1.8 litre four cylinder turbo engine, 296 brake horsepower, 300 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque. Now that means 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.4 seconds. That's 0.3 seconds quicker than the standard 300 trophy. Uh, and it'll top out at about 163 miles an hour. Sounds good to me. Right, so just to touch on the interior again, uh, right in front of me, I have this delicious Alcantara steering wheel with a red 12 o'clock marker there. Very handy if you're being a wheelsmith and spinning around and all kinds of things, who knows. Uh, the central panel here is pretty basic looking, but then it is pretty basic looking in all the Megans, to be fair. It has the smaller screen, as I mentioned. Yeah, it would be nicer if it was bigger, to be honest, but this is all about weight saving. Down here, there's this funny stick. If you push this button thing, this lever down here, and you wiggle this around when you're moving, uh, it changes gears. It's called a Manuel gear, but it's something to do with being Spanish. But it's a Manuel gearbox, apparently. Um, yeah, it's very good. I, li I quite like it. So yeah, in the back, I would normally sit there and test the space, but the, yeah, there's no rear seat here. What you do have is this large piece of plastic, which is d delightful. Um, but it, as I said, it saves over 20 kilograms, so it's very, very handy. But what this goes to give you is you have this lovely seat type looking arrangement. Uh, you have a brace here and a safety net here to stop anything from the boot flying through. Now you have lashing points here attached down to the chassis. Now those are for either your six point harnesses, which can go through here and around, or uh, you can actually use these. You know, you may notice there's a slight curve here, which is very, very noticeable because this is exactly the same as the 19 inch wheels. So if you have a spare set of track day wheels, like the carbon option you can have, uh, you can actually have these here and they fit across nicely, all kind of like this. I'd say a huge thank you to BOTB.com because those are the people that make these wonderful videos that I'm in possible. Now, it's a huge competition. There are nearly 200 cars that you can play for and they give away someone's dream car every single week. Now, tickets start at just 85p and you only have to be 17 years old or older to play. So go on, check them out, have a play. to know is what this thing is like to drive after all this is a driver's car well it sits somewhere between wow and something like this <laughs> oh my god What's that the brakes are very good wow that has woken me up Right. God, this thing is so much fun. I genuinely think that on the right road, like a British twisty back road like this, I think a hot hatch is even more fun than a supercar because, oh my God, this thing is fast. Feel that, look at the pull on this thing. Woo. Oh, and the pops and bangs. Just so much fun. 
and you turn it in and the grips, oh my life. Now, trying to be a little bit more realistic, yes, it's quite stiff for driving around on our roads. On, on track, I'm sure this is absolutely brilliant, but yeah, on the road, I, I'm, I'm bouncing around a fair bit here, I must say. Um, but the trade-offs of that are, how, did you hear the pops? <laughs> right, ignoring that for a second, he's doing it again. It's absolutely hilarious. I'll, if I go like this, pop, 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 pop. And that is the Akrapovich titanium exhaust. I actually thought it would be louder than it is, but when you when it's hot and I'm driving around like this, it's brilliant. It, it snarls and rasps and, as you can hear, pops and bangs on the overrun. I'd say the limits to this car is not the car. The limit is how brave you are because you can just lob this thing around like you wouldn't believe. The damping is, everything is very stiff, but the damping is incredibly well judged. They, they know what they're doing. Renault Sport been making hot hatches since the very beginning and oh, the lightweight and that 300 horsepower turbo engine just combined to make this the most thrilling thing. It, God, I'm addicted. Absolutely addicted. Right, I've pulled over and I've sort of calmed down a little bit now. I've done this same stretch of road here about 30 times, going faster and faster every time, pushing more and more with this thing. And it just gripped more and more every single time. And the grin on my face got wider and wider until I just said, I actually have to stop because like I said, I think I'm either gonna crash or the car's gonna, exp I don't know what's gonna happen. It's just astounding. This is one of the most accomplished cars I've ever driven. And that's saying something. I mean, this is, at the end of the day, this is a front wheel drive hot hatch. But, and this is a big but really, is it worth 51,000 pounds? Subjectively, well, no, because it's, it's, it's not, as a hot hatchback, no, it's not worth it at all because that's, that's a gnat's whisker away from the price of a Mercedes A45S, which again, if you're thinking about it in raw stats, that's got 415 horsepower. It's all wheel drive, dual clutch gearbox. It's gonna be point to point, any day, any weather, it's gonna be ballistically fast. And it's got all the toys you could want in the world, everything like that. So in that respect, this can't compete against something like that. And the good thing is it doesn't because this is actually a rival for a Lotus, say an Elise Cup 250, something like that. And it, that means this is a track day toy. Is it worth 51 grand in that respect? Is it worth as much as a Caterham 620? You know what? I actually think it is. I think it really holds its own. It is the most bonkers vehicle I think I've ever driven. It's a very unique prospect, this car. And the good thing is, you don't actually need to worry about it that much because there's only 32 of these coming to the UK in right-hand drive, 500 worldwide. It's gonna be a very, very rare sight. So before I go again, I need to say a quick thank you to BOTB. Uh, they give away someone's dream car every single week. Do go and check them out. Tickets start from just 85p. And we are back in the swing of things. We may not be doing every week videos still. We're still getting back into it, but we are back. We are out. We are filming. We are done with lockdown and we are creating content for you. So please, if you're not subscribed, please do that. Hit the notification button, hit like, all those things. Anyway, bye-bye.